Hi everyone and welcome to this new video for a new tip on how to use GAM to manage your G Suite domain. First of all, I would like to apologize for the lack of videos in the past few weeks. I was and I'm still actually on some sort of emergency in the work. I'm stuck in some projects that are taking longer than expected and uh, causing a lot of uh, stress and all of that. So apologies for the, the lack of videos again. In this video, actually, I'm going to talk about a popular topic among the administrators that I have worked with before, which is deleting email messages from users' mailboxes. Now, in general, when you hear someone talk about this point, you might think that he's accessing the mailboxes and you talk about privacy and all of that. But basically, this is not the the the, the the road or the approach that I'm going. I'm going to talk about it in a way that is achieving a requirement which is called recalling email messages. Sorry if I stated this in an, a disorganized way really, but usually when users or if you are coming from a Microsoft Exchange environment, usually you see an option called recall message. So what this option does, if you send an email message by mistake, that includes bad content or incomplete content or whatever reason that you want this message to be recalled from the destination, you have a slight chance to achieve this. Basically, if the recipient did not read the message and if he was using a Microsoft Exchange server as well and if he was internal to your organization, you'll be able to recall that message and delete it from his mailbox. If that recipient for some reason did open the message immediately when he received it, then you'll not be able to recall that message and delete it from his mailbox. This is in Microsoft Exchange environment. However, in Gmail and in G Suite, there is no such thing, unfortunately. Once you send the message, then that's it. You cannot recall it and you cannot do anything to that message at all. Gmail or Google has introduced a feature or a small option in the settings of Gmail, which is called undo send. And basically this option will give you some time to basically it will just queue the message in the sending or in the outbox for example and it will give you a time to undo or to stop the message sending i'm not sure exactly what yeah so, so this is the undo send it is set for me for five seconds however the maximum we can get is 30 seconds within these 30 seconds after you press the send button you can stop the sending process and you can get the message back to your drafts folder if for some reason you did not choose to stop or undo the sending within this time frame that you specify in here, then the message is sent permanently and you cannot undo that process. However, using GAM and using the API, you can even go further a little bit on this and you can delete the message from the user's mailbox given the one condition that the user is internal to your organization. It means that the user has to be on the same admin console that you are on. It means that he, ha he must be belonging to one of the domains that you have added to your admin console. If you are trying to delete a message for a user that is external to your organization, for example, on a different admin console or a different organization completely, this is not going to work. Because when you need to use GAM, as you know, you have to authorize it and you have to create the service account and all of these stuff, which are done on your own account. So you cannot do it on other accounts and other organizations. So as long as you satisfy that one condition that the user must be internal to your organization, then you can delete the message from the recipients and from destination mailboxes. And the way to do this is basically going to GAM and going to the email settings in GAM. You see the option or the, the, the index or whatever the headline called deleting, trashing or untrashing user emails. So the way this is working is as usual, the, you specify the scope of the objects that you want to affect, whether being a single user, a group of users or an organizational net or all of users. And then you choose the option that you want to do. Now it's delete, trash or untrash. Of course, delete means permanently deleting the message. 
trash will just move it to the trash folder and the message will be permanently deleted automatically based on the policy by Gmail or the policy that you specify unless somebody had gone into the trash or you actually do it in the untrash option and remove that message from the trash and then you have actually the option to affect a single message or a thread now the thread you will have to actually get the thread ID I will show you how to get it from the message headers and then you have to specify a query for this because it's not going to allow you to do or to delete a message without specifying a query if you do not specify a query it means it will delete every single message in that destination mailbox or for all the users this is not good <laughs> so the query can be the message id or any condition subject for example sender or recipient or date range or whatever the example that i'm going to show here is based on the subject or sorry on the message id i will show you how to get the message id from the email header and all of that and then the final condition is or the final option that is mandatory actually to execute the delete process which is called do it if you don't do this the whole process will be a simulation only if you do type do it then the changes will be applied to that mailbox or to that group of mailboxes so enough of talking let's go to the command prompt and let's do a, to a demo actually two demos for that one is for the trash option one of one is for the delete now you might have noticed that in the inbox in here i have two messages one is called trash me and what is what one it contains delete me so I'm going to start with the trash and then going to do the delete one. After that, I'm going to untrash this one so you can see it again in the mailbox. So the command is gam. Then I want to specify actually a single user. So I will type user and then the email of that user. Then I'm going to delete or sorry, I'm going to trash a message then I will type the query sorry. and the query or the property that I want to query is called RFC message ID so it's called RFC 822 message ID the value for this one is retrieved from the message header so to get it you have to op you have to actually open the message and there are multiple ways you can get the message header actually maybe the sender he can send you the message header he can tell you the message header and then you can take it and uh, execute it in the command maybe the sender can send the whole headers to you and you can actually go to the menu and go to show original and you see on the very top of this table on this page as well you'll see the message ID so you'll take only the the value between these brackets you don't have to copy those you just take this value and you go to gam and then just paste it then after that you will type or you will do the do it and that's it you will press enter and the message will be deleted or will be trashed you see now it's because I specified only one user, it's it's searching in that single user. However, if you do gam all users, it's going to start searching within the mailboxes of all of the users that you have in your admin console. So if you have a very large number of users, this process will take time. It will take sometimes a very long time. I have done it for an organization that had 6,000 users and it took hours actually to complete. I'm not sure why, but something something changed or something was wrong in there but anyways it will take time if you have a very large number of users now you see that it's it, it actually did trash the message for me so if i go back to my inbox i should not see that message here you see it, it should disappear now and if i go to the trash folder i should see that message in the trash folder this is the one trash me now if I want to untrash it, all I have to do is I'll just repeat the same command. However, instead of trash, I will type untrash. And 
I'll press enter. As you can see the confirmation here, it tells you that untrashed a message for this user. So coming back to the inbox, I should see the message appear here now, or maybe not. I think it will be in the all mail. However, if you check trash again, you see the message has disappeared from there. So if I go to all mail, I should see that message in the Actually, it's archived, so you have to move it again to the inbox. So basically, you will you will you will apply the inbox label on it, and I will show you how to do it in a later video. So that's for the trashing of the email messages, and now for the deleting, it's basically the same command. However, instead of trash, we'll just type delete, and I I need to get that message ID actually for the the other message. So we'll go to the view original or show original. And here is the headers for that message. So I'll take the message ID again. Going back to the command prompt, I have to change two things. First, I have to change the message ID. Then paste. And then the untrash, I'm going to make it delete. Now, actually, before doing the command, I just want to remove the do it option so I can show you what's going to happen without specifying that option or that argument. So I'm going to press enter. You see, it told us that it found one message with the specified message ID, and then it said that it would try to delete one message for the user. It did not say it deleted that, it said it will try to delete it. So, so basically it was just a simulation. So if you go back to that message, if you go to the inbox, you will see that this mes message is still here. I'm going to refresh again so you can make sure that the data is newly loaded to this page. You see the message is still here, it was not deleted because I did not specify the do it option or argument. So going back to the command prompt, I will repeat the same command now, I will type do it. And again, before executing the command, I wanted to show you something else. In the syntax for this command, there are more values or more options at the end, which, which are max to delete, max to trash, and max to untrash. Now, basically, when you specify a message ID, it means there is only one message to be identified and deleted at any time because a message, uh, you cannot have two messages with the same message ID. If you have that, then you have something wrong with your mailbox. You have duplicates and that is something not good. And this, this method will not help you deleting the duplicate messages. I had some cases with customers before who had a lot of messages with the same message ID and this tool or this method did not work at all so if you are using a different condition that message id for example subject and you want to delete all the messages with a certain subject you have to actually define a number here so you have to to, to type max to delete and then a number for example you type 10 then if 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 your query or if the search returned for example 11 messages GAM will refuse to delete those 11 messages. If that query returned 10 or less messages, then the command will go through and the messages will be deleted. This is very important really if you're trying to use this command and if you're expecting to work with a lot of results for a single query, you have to make sure that you specify max to delete or max to trash and then the expected number. It's good to have like, a. it's not good actually because you might end up deleting correct messages, but you need to you need to know how many results you will get and based on that you will need to define the, the number that you will put in here so for our case it's only one single message and for that we're good to go so i'll press enter now and you will see that it's actually got one message again identified for that message id and it is deleting one message for this user account that matches that message ID. It, you, even you see here deleting one of one messages. So it only got one messages for that query that we specified. One final test that I want to show you as well. 
which is what happens if your search result returns more than one message but you specify your command to delete only for example one message so for this i'm going to send two test email messages so i actually sent three messages to myself and i'm going to use the subject query this time so to do that i'm going to the command prompt again and let me test actually the query or the command before executing the delete so it means without the do it uh, option or argument so i will remove do it and i'll remove the whole query thing as well and i will type subject then the subject in quotation marks i hope this is correct so you see it actually found four messages with the subject test which is actually good you see the last line in here tells you that it will try to delete four messages for the user but the maximum is one so so i'm going to strictly specify that i want to delete only one message or actually before that let me do it without specifying anything so this is the command without specifying any limits for the delete you see the warning that we have got is it is refusing to delete any messages for the user since max messages to process is one and the messages that we have found are four so now we have to actually specify the max to delete and let's type four let's then press the enter now the messages were deleted so going back to the inbox and actually without refreshing anything those should disappear right now now let's refresh yeah so the messages are now disappeared going to the trash you will not find them there because they were permanently deleted so which is actually expected from the command that we executed so this is it really i'm sorry for this that it took a little longer than the other videos i just wanted to make sure that i cover most of the delete email message function in gam because i'm sure that you will need i'm sure that you will need it and i'm sure that you had cases before that required something like this to be existing whether you knew about it or not so i hope this will be useful for you from now on and if you have any question or any concern or any comment please do not hesitate to put it in the comments section please subscribe and like the video as well and until the next video i hope this was informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing